Welcome everybody, this is Colin Blow. Just one of your favorite plugin dev, of course. <laughs> um, this is the latest drawbridge plugin I'm working on, as you can see right here. Looks like a little drawbridge is set up. A quick overview on how it works on this setup here. Just hotkey you bridge.use. It's all chat commands. I have my setup on currently set up. That's a quick overview of that. Another idea here. Going in this room. It's kind of cool. Kind of like a makeshift walls come down. Pretty cool. Quick keys there. Same command I used earlier. Okay. Robert said, well, how do I build one? What kind of things can I do? What's cool about it? Well, we're going to build another one real quick. Let's see. Foundations or floors are currently what's available. Just type bridge.build. If you have the permissions, it will add bridge. Now, this matches the grade of the floor when you build it. Or, say, if you upgrade later, all you have to do is activate it. It will change the grade of the floor. Right now, the range is set a little too close to that one, so you just got to be careful. Or set it lower, where you just activate a single bridge at a time. Like I said, you can also do it on floors as well. A little different, in case you want it up a little higher, you can turn off floors or turn off foundations, whatever you want. Same thing. Now, say, oh, it's not quite facing the right way. So, get right up on the middle. You can rotate them with bridge.rotate. There you go. Turns it 90 degrees. Now, it has a hotkey for ease of use. So you can just sit here and turn it around. maze you can really create some interesting uh, mazes with this <laughs> okay now a couple of options you have with the drawbridge is there's a stability part where you, it will not let you build a drawbridge on just any old part it has to have certain stability level if I can click the right thing Say, say that looks pretty cool. Well, if I can put on the floor on it, I should be able to build it. Let's see. This really is 9%. You really wouldn't support a drawbridge. It's not stable enough if you look at it. See? I just, you need a more stable platform. So you would need to... Currently it's set at 50%. Anything that's not 50% it will not let you build drawbridge on. You can turn that off or leave it on the way it is. Now, I'm going to try to build another one right here. There we go. You can just set these up. Oh, now I've reached my limit. There are two users. There's a regular user, which by default you get two drawbridges, or there's a VIP user, which by default you get ten drawbridges, uh, which is configurable just change whatever you want, whatever you like. In case you want your VIP users to get a lot more, or you can even turn off that altogether where there is no limit for nobody. Pretty cool. Another feature. You can say, hey, how do I know how many drawbridges I have in the world? Well, you can use. There you go, bridge count. It tells me I have eight current bridges, which is correct to have six in the house and two right here. Now these are all, you can use these on the fly. Here's my upcoming patrol boat plug-in. It's 
kind of cool you can just zip right through your drawbridge or anything and with the radius which I like that you can just close the drawbridge behind you so I need to back back up forgot my coffee go back there we go kind of cool a lot of different things you can do with that now on an upcoming feature I will have these where you can angle them 45 up or 45 down kind of make like a ramp up or down which is kind of cool I found that to be really awesome but, uh, that's the drawbridge plugin and if anybody has any questions just leave me some questions in the feedback thank you